Well, we also are joined by some guys you might recognize. They were just in that package a moment ago. We've got Sprout Kitchen in the house today. We're going to be yes. whipping up a recipe today. I don't know if we accidentally turned your mics on, though, so pop your mics out of your pocket and flick that little red switch because that will definitely help across the top of your microphone pack here. Well, I'm very excited That's a good way to this start. morning because Sprout Kitchen yeah. is a brand new local business, and they're based in Eugene. It's on Willamette Street, and it replaced the old Great Harvest. Now, we're joined with Gabe and Kevin. So welcome this morning. Thank you for joining Thanks. us here. Yes, yeah, thank you. So go ahead. Gabe, you're the owner of Sprout Kitchen. How long have you guys been there? Pretty new to town. Yeah, we're brand new. We just opened. Uh, we opened last Monday, so just over a week here. So uh, very brand new. Now, just a week in, so it's a little early for returns, but how have people been reacting to the, to the new location? Yeah, it's going great so far. Everyone who comes in uh, enjoys the food, and that's what we're here uh, to do today, to show a bit more of it. And what is the... I know it's a little bit different than a normal restaurant, so tell us a little bit about your process. Yeah, we wanted to do something a bit unique, so we actually have kind of two parts to the business. We have our normal cafe menu, which is a lot of bowls, sandwiches, salads, and smoothies. But we're also working on a lot of uh, pre-packaged individual meals, kind of like a meal plan type program. So if you come in, we have lots of coolers and freezers where we have lots of prepared meals that you can grab and uh, take home and uh, warm them up later. Now we've got some serious activity going on here on camera. Uh, who is this? Who is this? this? Is Chef Kevin? Good morning. Yes. Where did you find this guy? You tracked down a. You, you made a, a good hire. You got Kevin in that building. Um, Kevin, what are you whipping up for us today? Well, today we're going to do a fresh salmon with a black bean Asian chili. Very fun. And yes. Sprout Kitchen, you guys are known for using high quality, good for you ingredients. Correct. That is very true. And all of this, let's, what are we going to do? All right. Well, first, we're going to keep it calm because there's a lot of ingredients going on here. Yeah. So we want to start with uh, one at a time. So what we got, our burner's going right now, and we got our salmon ready to go, and we're going with a little bit of garlic and ginger right now. We'll add our black beans and the rest of the ingredients, let them simmer a little bit. We'll get the salmon going, and then presto magic, everything should come together <laughs> at roughly the same time. Presto magic, that's the scientific term there. Presto that. magic that's what is they taught you in culinary the school. Absolute scientific scientific term. So Gabe, why did you want to get into having these why is it so important that we have whole foods with us? Yeah, so we uh, you know looked at the food scene for a while and uh, noticed that there are a lot of good places, but we thought uh, uh, we wanted to kind of take it to the next level with the type of quality. Um, we don't use any uh, seed oils or anything, everything's cooked with olive oil and we try really hard to source locally, and so we really wanted to take it that final step up uh, in terms of quality in Eugene. Now, if someone hasn't been to Sprout Kitchen before, I mean, it's only been there seven days, so, or eight days now, so yes. what could someone expect if they walk through the doors of Sprout Kitchen? Yeah, right when you walk in, you'll see a bunch of coolers to your left, and you'll see a bunch of our prepackaged meals, um, but you can go right up to the counter and you can get a wonderful food just like this, and you can eat there or take it to go. So we kind of are serving all kinds of worlds there. Now, we've got this salmon dish getting whipped up today, but what other items do you guys have on the menu? What have been some popular things in this first week of business? Yeah, some of our most popular things is our Tex-Mex bowl. Uh, we do a phenomenal Mexican rice made in-house. Um, and uh, another popular thing on our sandwiches is our pastrami chicken. Uh, it's very unique, and uh, that's what we try to do, both healthy, good, and unique. So. What's your favorite? My favorite is probably the pastrami chicken, because I'm both a chicken guy and a sandwich guy. So. <laughs> It's like Zach. Zach, you're a sandwich I've guy. said my whole life sandwiches are my favorite food group. I know it's a lie, but do you know, there's so much, so much variety in there. You can have some fun with any type of sandwich. Throw whatever you want in there, so I'll be down there. For sure. Where are you guys located? Uh, we're at 2564 Willamette Street, uh, right uh, downtown, kind of by the Market of Choice. We're actually uh, right where Great Harvest used to be. They moved across the street. It's in that strip mall there off the Waffle, yep. uh, Jimmy John's, all that stuff, right across from Tsunami Books. Yes, that's To kind exactly of give some, right. some landmarks for everybody so they can get into the right place. Yep, yep. You'll see our big yellow sign as well if you drive down Yeah, Willamette. I drove by the other day. Hard to miss. Yes. You guys really did well on the signage front, I believe. Yes, so that was the idea, yes. So, Chef, what are we? I see a lot of things going in. What's going on? What is going on? No, that's the question. That a, that that's why they tune question. in. That is a good question. Well, right now we are finishing up the salmon. Got to make it quick. The nice thing is, is like these things you can collect and throw together in a relatively fast time, especially if you want to do it at home. 
some of the big hassles is uh, clean up and using 80 pans and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. So instead, you just got two. And this will take literally, once you gather the ingredients, probably about 10 minutes. To whip it all together. Whip it all together. Is that know? zucchini? That is zucchini. We got the zucchini that's marinated with a little bit of uh, Asian spice with chilies and sesame seeds. We got the stew going, and we're going to thicken that with a little bit of arrowroot. And then we're going to finish it with a little a yellow bell pepper oil and some pickled beets. Oh, golden beets. I thought it was looking like pineapple or oh, mango yeah. slaw or something. Yes. It's like some, colors. You got some beautiful colors through this. Beautiful thing. colors, you know. Just wanted to make sure with all the lighting that everything wasn't a drab dark <laughs> color. Absolutely. You eat with your eyes first. When, when being chef in a place like this, how fun is it for you to be able to experiment with and play with so many fun, fresh ingredients like that? It's a blast. Yeah. Yeah, it's a blast. I mean, uh, one of the things that's very intriguing about it is the industry now has changed a lot for a lot of reasons, but uh, getting back to kind of the old school, kind of having fun with it, experimentation, yeah. and having a good, good, having a good time and taking it seriously, but not getting uh, crazy with it in that kind of aspect. Now people, you, you were telling me earlier that you've worked kind of all around the country, but you have some history working here in Eugene. Where yeah. have people who live in Eugene eat in Eugene? Where have they tasted your, your, your menu before? Well, I started out uh, in the early 90s at a place named uh, Joe Federigo's, yeah. I guess is the alma mater. It's a mater. throwback for some people, It's a right? throwback. Yeah. And then uh, did some work over at the Cafe Soraya for an extended period of time. And then gallivanted on and came back and left and came back and left. And uh, Eugene is always here for me, so I always like that. And same with Gabe as well. You're a Eugene native. What's it like starting at this new chapter in your hometown. Yeah, it was really cool to kind of just see the restaurant scene growing up and uh, obviously know the market really well um, growing up here. So uh, we felt pretty confident about starting this in terms of it being just something really healthy and uh, special. Did you do some like market research to understand that people here in Eugene are looking for this sort of thing? This is because I talk with friends that look for this sort of option between the meal planning, between the, uh, the, the really fresh local sourced ingredients as best as you can. Did you realize that this was a kind of a space that was wanted here in the area? Yeah, a lot of people are really looking for those kind of prepackaged meals. A lot of people don't like to cook or now, you know, ingredients for cooking are really expensive. So yeah. it's uh, basically cheaper to go down and get a meal like this and you also get uh, to taste the wonderful cooking of Kevin as well. And that's something that surprised me too when I went down to Sprout Kitchen. Those price points, they're very competitive. Yes, we're definitely trying to be right in line or even under uh, most other places. We really, our mission is just to uh, get as many people in the door and as many people tasting the food as possible. So. High volume. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> High volume. And this is a very big protein packed meal. I see the beans, there's yes. salmon. Why is it important for you to have such nutritious food for your customers? Well, it's good because, you know, as a chef, we're really advocates to bring what Mother Nature provides for free to people and be able to translate it in a way that is good fuel. We use this word a lot, fuel, but we don't really take the best advantage of it. So that's what we really want to do is say, you know, the bells and whistles are something that are provided for us truly organically through the planet. And we just want to translate it in the right way and cook it the right way. So when people eat it, uh, they feel good. They feel warm. They feel healthy. And then they can go out and fight the good fight every day and have, a, you know, take it maybe from here to here and smile a little bit more. So that's really the, the main objective is to be able to fuel that and, uh, you know, in the, in the age old of tranquility. Sharing good food, sharing good ingredients, sharing basically stories through your food, it Absolutely. almost appears. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a th striking a chord with us reporters here. Um, Gabe, what do you anticipate going forward? Uh, what can people, do you, do you see events in the future, things to bring people into the business? What, any, anything you've got planned up? Yeah, we're doing a lot of marketing brainstorming right now. I think uh, kind of once a month we'll look to do kind of an in-person event, get the community involved. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of trying to get the word out there as well. So uh, 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 happy to be here as well. Absolutely. And Absolutely. not only is it good food that makes you feel good, it's also the interior design. I remember what stuck out to me is that yellow. And I know that yellow is a serotonin inducing color. So <laughs> if you yes. want to feel good, want to feel happy, I would definitely recommend Sprout Kitchen. Now, 
We are getting in the home stretch, it appears, on this dish here. We're thickening up our stew with some arrowroot. And what kind of mushrooms so did you throw in there? Those would look like look fun. I don't know that I'm familiar. The easiest way to approach it is to just call them brown beach. Okay. Brown beach brown mushrooms, mushrooms are delicious. They have a cute little shape to them. Yeah. Uh, they're available in your local markets. You just gotta look for them. And the nice part is they're clean, they're ready to go. You just cut them right off the root and then you can throw them right into action. Very I think cool. I've seen these at some Asian markets, right? Yep, they are. They're actually an Asian style mushroom. The, uh, the cognitive, you know, uh, properties that they have and whatnot. And then they have a nice chewy texture. So they're really good pickled, roasted, thrown into stews. So the is, but anyway, you can do it. Yeah. So for viewers at home, if they want to find this, we have, what, Sunrise Asian Market, Eugene Asian Market, that you could probably find these in. Or you can go to Sprout Kitchen and get yourself a salmon bowl like this. Don't even have to worry about prepping it yourself. Chef Kevin will take all the hard work out of the way for you. Boom. You don't even have to think about it. And Throw in some cilantro in there, it appears. And do the dishes. And do the dishes, most and importantly, because I have so much fun cooking in my kitchen. But washing the dishes, that's for the birds. That is for the birds. Now, do you hire a dishwasher or a chef in the kit in the dish nah, pit, too? Yeah, you know, it's, I'm, in, I'm in the dish. I'm going to get an I, email I, from the I'm dishwasher the dish saying, I don't know about that. <laughs> chef, <laughs> chef Kevin just keeps handing me his pots and pans and getting the heck well, out of Dodge. Chefs are controlling, so it's just <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's my dish pit. I have been saying, you're about the calmest chef I've encountered. <laughs> I, are you just putting on a show for TV, or are you this nice in your kitchen, nah, too? Uh, you know, I try. I have my days. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We'll get the off-camera stories at, in, in just a moment. All right, so we are serving up. With, so this is the base, right? So we've got black beans, yep. the mushrooms. That arrowroot really thickens things up. Thickens things up. Cilantro adds some beautiful color. Let's get photographer Barry Thompson. Scoot on over here, buddy. Come on, get in camera. Let's get some tight shots of this stuff. This is beautiful as he's throwing it down into the dish. I wish you viewers at home could smell how good this smell it's Yeah, Barry's so camera's aromatic. not that good. It'll get some good video, but the smells, those are for yourself. Do you know where you can find those? Gabe, where can they find those smells? Yeah, you can head on down to Sprout Kitchen. You're and, darn right. Yes, yeah, actually, if you uh, come in by the end of Friday and you say you saw us on TV, we'll give you a discount too, 25% off. So. Oh, Shoot, wow. Angela, let's go to lunch, I huh? Know, Sprout I Kitchen, 25% off, that's a deal. You guys can even meet your favorite TV celebrity, Angela Yamamoto. Okay. <laughs> oh my and goodness. And also Zach Brule. <laughs> we'll be down there you do a dishes? lot. I um I don't. Does clean. the discount get higher if I do dishes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, I'll be in there. That's <laughs> that's something that could be worth it. That's right. Yeah, chef's all of a sudden like likes him some Zach if he's washing dishes. This smells so All right, so Barry, you can good. come take my spot. Come on in here. Let's get a nice, yeah. nice tight shot. I'll clear the space for you. Let's look at that salmon dish. It's just delicious, and the colors coming off that white bowl really pop. We're gonna split. What's that you're putting on, chef? This is a yellow bell pepper oil. Okay. So it's yellow bell peppers, olive oil, and lemon juice. We have some toasted sesame seeds for texture and just because they're friggin' good. <laughs> good reason. <laughs> and then the last two things that we're going to do in this mess that I've managed to make is throw on some fresh herbs. And then lastly, a little bit of lime juice. It smells so good. And look at those colors. I kind of forgot what I was doing there. I stopped talking. That's my job. But I'm just letting the video do all the talking for us. Oh, that is second. gorgeous, Chef. Clean up the schmutz. Wow. All right. That is so good. So it's a uh, black that bean stew delicious. with uh, Norwegian salmon with a yellow bell pepper oil, grilled zucchini, sesame seeds. Okay, Zach, I think... Just I'm realizing we have no utensils. Just dig in. Oh, we just, really mess things up you here. Just use your hands. Let me let this can, guy here. Let's like kind of slide through fly like off that. The spoon. And we're just gonna. Do you mind if I just bite off this guy, Chef? Ah, just do it. All right. Eat with your mouth full. That's what I always recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that. Shake my hand. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. You are doing something special there. That is. There's Try. some fresh flavors from that bell pepper oil. Oh my goodness, I am stunned. <laughs> you, while talking, whipped all that up, and that's some of the best food I've had in a long, nice. long time, Chef. That is good stuff. Sprout Kitchen, guys. We're going to get into this. We're going to send you to break.